Although it's quite easy to just utilize the conditional formatting uh, formats that they provide for you built in, you can decide to make your own custom format if you want. So previously we had made a, a, a conditional format for the top 15 items. I might expand that to like the top 20. But this time, instead of light red fill, I'm going to go down to custom format. So I can come down to custom format and what happens then is it pops up uh, the option here. You can see number is one, uh, font, border, fill, and you can change stuff here. So the easiest things, I go say, okay, let's do, board, let's do a, a fill that's really red, like really bright red. Uh, maybe give it a border too because that will look kind of weird. In the font, you'll notice you can't change the actual font itself, but you can change the style, so I can make it bold. And the other thing that you often change, the color. So I can say, okay, I want it to be white. So we'll make it bold and white. So this is going to look all sorts of weird, because now it's going to be really bright red with white bold font and a border around it. Now, one other thing you can do here, there is a number option right here. Sometimes you have things like VLOOKUPs, where you might be looking up something that's a date, or a number. So if you can figure out a way to do it with a conditional formatting formula, you can potentially change the number format for different values. So if it's going to be a number that's going to be 5, 10, or 15, you could create a conditional format for whenever the, the, the number is greater than, say, 20,000, which would be a date would be somewhere in like the 60s. Uh, you could say anytime it's greater than 20,000, format it as a date, and if it's under 20,000, format it as a number. So all the numbers in you know, 15s, 20s will show up that way, and then if it was a date, it would be a big number, it'll show up as a date instead. So there's ways to kind of do this number one as well that can be really pretty useful. But the one we did was all about the look, the fill, the border, the font. I say OK. Custom format right there, I say OK, and now you can see what it looks like. So it's a great way of being able to create for yourself a custom format uh, so that your, your conditional formatting will look the way you want to. If you had a value that really had to shoot out at you and be really bright red or something like that, you can do that by creating your own custom conditional formatting format.